So I found an interesting thing when I was doing RVC training on two voices, and that is you can make a dual voiced RVC model. Um, so let's jump into the screen and I'm going to show you what I mean here. So to give you a little bit of context on what I did, um, I took data from I took a data set from two different voices, uh, Marin and uh, Penguin Z0, and I put them into a training session. Um, and we're going to listen and do some inferences just so I can show you what I mean by that. So let's open up a text file. This is the text file I'm going to be using as an example and take a listen to it. He did have his wallet in his pocket. And setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. All right, so that is a text-to-speech sample from uh, Tortoise TTS, and I'm going to run it with this Marine Penguin Zero voice model first, and then we'll listen to a little bit. So I'm going to use Zero Transpose, so I'm not changing any of the pitch. I'm going to now convert it, and let's take a listen. He did have his wallet in his pocket, and setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. All right, so that sounded pretty cool, pretty good. And then now let's go ahead and change it to 16. So I'm going to up the pitch and run a conversion on this. And let's take a listen. He did have his wallet in his pocket. And setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. All right, so there you go. I used one voice model and I was able to get a female voice and then a male voice on that. Now let's go to those um, individual PTH files of those voices. I'm going to switch over to the Marin voice here. And what I'm going to do is now convert it at uh, 16 pitch. So the one I just used and let's take a listen. He did have his wallet in his pocket. And setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. All right, so that sounds good. Sounds like modding. But if I put this down now to zero, let's reconvert that and then listen to it. He did have his wallet in his pocket. And setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. All right, so there you go. It sounds kind of weird, a little bit nasally. It's kind of like you just brought down the pitch of the voice and tried um, inferencing it on a on a voice that has a lower frequency. Um, and so that is present as well inside of the Penguin Z0 voice as um, I'll demonstrate here. So let's use zero. It's male to male. Um, and let's take a listen. He did have his wallet in his pocket. And setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. See, that sounds about normal. But then if we go up to 16 with this, um, it's going to sound a little bit weird. He did have his wallet in his pocket. And setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few notes, it couldn't be denied that he had his assets on him. So there you go. It sounds very airy. Um, doesn't really sound that good. But inside of that mixed voice model, you have the modding voice at the higher pitches, and then you have the Penguin Z0 voice at the lower pitches, which I found particularly interesting. And that instead of mixing the voices together, kind of like an average, it uses the frequencies that they're best at the lower frequencies and then the higher frequencies to separate out those voices. So um, if I go ahead and pull out the real time voice changer client, here's I'm going to give a little bit of a demonstration here as well. So um, let me go ahead and start this. Hello, Hello. testing, testing. One, one, two, two three. three. Okay, so I'm going to be testing this right here. And um, this is the mix model. And then I'm going to bring the tune down a little bit down to zero. And then now it's, um, you can hear it's a voice that is not all warbly. And, um, this is just kind of demonstrating what I showed in RVC. So I'm going to go ahead and change to each of those models individually. And so here as the half of modding voice sounds, um, at zero tune. But you can see that when I go up to 16 here, it starts sounding, um, better. It starts sounding female. And, um, this is just exhibiting the same behavior that the RVC training, um, that I went over in the RVC web UI. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to show today. And, um, 
I will be doing a little bit more testing on this and I'll share those findings with you guys later. All right, so just a quick little video today. I, I just wanted to share this out. Um, and yeah, I will see you all later.